It's early morning in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Though the dew hasn't yet dried, these hands are fast at work. Slicing and sorting the last of the spring lettuce, then plucking snap peas and checking on new carrots. Perfect. Gail Taylor discovered Claggett Farm three years ago after moving to the area. And I would come and work for my vegetables. Today, she's part of its staff, growing food for the community. The demand in the area is just really high. People are really sort of like catching on to this thing. This thing is Community Supported Agriculture, or CSA. Anyone can buy a share of the harvest at the beginning of the season. Their money supports the farm, and they get fresh-picked organic produce every week. Today's harvest is supposed to feed about 450 people, and that's not including the last-minute callers who want to come and work for their week's food. Volunteer Caitlin Kozlov and her friends are picking beans for the first time. It's not that much work. It's kind of fun. By midday, Caitlin's beans and the rest of the harvest are gathered and gently washed. People always like their vegetables to look good. Then loaded up for delivery to the city. Shareholders come every Tuesday to the First Baptist Church in DuPont Circle. Come on, would you like beans or broccoli? As they make their selections, the rising cost of food doesn't weigh on their minds. When you get it directly from the farm, um, it actually works out to be a whole lot cheaper. That's one reason why CSAs expect to see a lot more growth in their future. I'm, I'm guessing with the cost of fuel going up, you're going to see a whole lot more local type things like this start to thrive. As they continue to plant the seeds of change for a new generation.